and welcome back to Challenge Monday, and this Monday is the third Monday of the month, which means it is craft week. So we have a ton of different crafts for October and Halloween and that we wanted to show you and how to do. So let's move on to the video of showing you, a. I think we have like four or five, four, I think we have four different crafts and fun, easy DIYs to do for Halloween. So it's our first graph, the EOS spider, and the things that you will need are would be black, three black or brown pipe cleaners, which we have here. The next thing, you will need black or brown paint, which we got here. And then the, also, you will need the EOS lip balm, right here. And then finally, you will need scissors. And we already have our paintbrush and everything outside, and we will not be using this because we do not want to wash it. So let's go inside. All right, guys. So here's Finn doing her first. Gotta paint the EOS. So what is the EOS gonna be? Like, is it gonna be legs, gonna be, the head? It's gonna just be the body, and we are gonna get the pipe cleaners, and that will be the legs. All right. So there's Finn doing this. We'll check okay, up on. So it has dried. As you can see, and it opens. I even said it didn't. It opens, but there still is some blue spots on it, but we are not gonna mess with that. So, the next step that you're gonna be doing is using your three pipe cleaners. And you are gonna take one, and you're just gonna cut it in half, like that. Then do it to all of them until you have your legs. You should have a total count of six. And I do. Okay, so after you got eight, and they need to be smaller, not these. After you have eight of them, you are gonna take a hot glue gun and make sure you have a pair of supervision by you. So you're gonna take your EOS, and when it's hot, you're gonna drop it. I'm here to help. Yeah. Drop okay. it, stick it on. Is it already dry? Huh. Alright, guys, so Finn was not able to vlog because she's been lazy. She did not finish her spider. So, you are Finn. So, this is the finishing touch. Now, she actually did have all her lights on, but some of them fell off, so she needs to glue that. Now you can see a lot of blue marks, but um, you may need to do two two coats of painting, but we did not get time, so I don't blame Ben for that. But um, I blame time for that. But we had a few legs go off, so just be very careful when you hot glue it. Make sure that the legs stick, and that you make sure that there, you do two coats of black paint or brown paint. So, here's your finishing touch. It's okay. We just didn't get the legs. And, Kind of blue, but it's still awesome. So that's your spider. So I'm going to be making the yarn pumpkin, and what you'll be needing for this is some orange yarn, or whatever type of orange we chose. This orange, whatever type of green yarn we just chose the two that went the best, and scissors. So the first step is to take your orange yarn and to have three fingers. And then hold this end and wrap it around your fingers until you have a decent size. So we're gonna keep wrapping. Then once we think we've had enough, which I think we we're good, we're gonna snip that part off with a little edge here. Take it off of her fingers. Got this little thing here. Go like this bit. If you need to. Now we're gonna take a little snip of this green yarn, and we're going to put it on top. 
Or wait, no, we're gonna tie it once, actually. Tie it once. This little knot here. So we have it brand new. We have the sides, like I told you. We're going to tie it once. Remember, you wrapped it around your three fingers, hold that one side, have the two sides, and tie it. We're going to make a little bigger strip because that one really didn't work the best, so we're going to take it out. Maybe two or three inches. Set that right on top of it. And tie it back over. Okay, so then you have this, and it's half pumpkin with the stem, and then two little edges. What you're gonna do with the little edges, maybe tie it like three, four times, just make sure it's secure in there. Tie it about four or five times, make sure it's really in there. Okay. Take these extra orange pieces, snip those off. One snip. Two snip. So now, all you have is your orange um, pumpkin thing and the two green things. Now, the green things that you're going to do is you're going to tie this at the top. Once you think you have enough stem, you can snip the extra stuff. Or if you run out of the yarn on one side. Hello guys, and welcome to our last and final craft. So this is the one I'm probably looking forward to the most, and that is the hot glue skeleton. So I'm going to start off with the materials that you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is a printed off skeleton, which I have right here. And it needs to, probably needs to be as simple as can be, similar to this one. So I have that. I have wax paper. And I have a hot glue gun. Okay? So these are all going to make this craft that hopefully works. So let's get started. Okay, so for the first step, you're gonna take your printed skeleton and you're basically just gonna, and your wax paper, and you're just gonna basically cut off a piece of wax paper. I can smell the hot glue. Of course my wax paper ripped up, but the wax paper just needs to cover the skeleton completely. Let me show you. So see how the wax paper is covering the entire printed skeleton? Just need to cover, cover the skeleton. And so then once we got that, then we can take our hot glue gun, which we have. It's an older hot glue gun, but it's still a great one. And basically trace over all of the area, but basically trace the entire skeleton, and then all the other sides too. So, I'll show you in a minute my upgraded skeleton that I have. All right guys, so I finally finished 
filling the thing in. And here's kind of what I have. I can't really, can't really lift it up. Let's see if I can. Oh, you can kind of see it. Now, here's a little tip that I can kind of get better explanation when it's all dry. But you guys can kind of see that my printed paper is not blank. What I did was I flipped it over. So when I was done filling in, I took the printed paper out, flipped it over, and put it back under to see if I had any open spots. And if you have any open spots besides eyeballs or mouth, if you decide to put those in, then I colored those in with more um, hot glue. And then I'm going to let it dry. So we'll see when it's dry. All right, guys. So um, I made my skeleton. Here's the thing. Let's have a little chit chat about this craft. It's kind of a time consuming craft. It's very time consuming and takes a lot of effort. Um, here's what it is. It does not look very pretty. It does glow in the dark, at least it should. And my neck is about to fall off, so I'm gonna have to re-glue that. Now, wax paper causes the glue to kind of stick a little bit, so you need to take some scissors every once in a while. You need, you'll need to take scissors and like cut the wax paper off. Comment down below some things that maybe might work better to make the glue not stick. I don't know though, to just kind of peel off like the video had. Uh, but, and then it's also, you may sometimes, as you're ripping and cutting it, at times you may need to re-glue, just like the neck. I had a little bit of an arm issue. Glue it, but then it shouldn't cause any more problems. So, here is, here is my skeleton. You can flip up in the air, everything. He is awesome. So, all right, yeah. guys. So the girls are playing with slime, are and they? now it is, and we are just ending this video. Do you want to end it, Ava? Sure. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our little crafts for Halloween. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to give some requests for our next week DIY. Next, next month. month. Next month's yeah. DIY for Thanksgiving. So. So don't forget, maybe try and um, give us some ideas. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.